case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a 1980 case, Garrett v. United States, a former federal inmate sued the government for failing to provide adequate protection under the law, leading to severe injuries. The plaintiff was stabbed in the back by fellow inmate Steve Rollins, which resulted in a punctured lung. Rollins had a history of violent offenses, but his prison file lacked any psychological evaluations. The lawsuit claimed that the government's negligence in supervising Rollins, given his violent past, led to the plaintiff's injuries. After a non-jury trial, the United States District Court for the Northern District of Georgia ruled in favor of the plaintiff, awarding $5,040 in damages. The court determined that Rollins's conduct was the direct cause of the plaintiff's injuries, which included loss of earnings and mental distress. In its decision, the court dismissed the government's argument that human behavior is unpredictable, stating that reasonable precautions should have been taken to ensure the plaintiff's safety. While the plaintiff did not sustain any permanent disability, the court ruled that the government was liable for failing to provide adequate supervision of the perpetrator. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsd.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.